in the 52 kilo class. Attempting a squat of 232.5 kilos. And a no lift, not enough depth, I fear. Now, the man we're looking at, Inaba. Hideki, 17 times world champion, 50 years of age, 240 kilos on the bar, and a success with this weight would mean a new world masters record. So a man with a lot of experience attempting a new world record. And it's a good lift, and doesn't he look good? And he's pleased, and so he should be. There, confirmation, a new Battle. Masters world record. And the man coming onto the stage now, Andre Stanzek, 23 years of age, still a junior. But believe it or not, attempting a senior world record of 270 kilos. That's just a shade under 600 pounds. Well, doesn't he make it look easy? Stanzek, three times junior world champion. And just watching again, gets good depth. and stands in one continuous movement. Now looking at Sergei Zurovila, 34 years of age, from Russia, attempting a bench press of 120 kilos. And I fear that's a no lift. Paused on the extension and an uneven extension of the arms. But here we're now looking at America's Phil Hill, 28 years of age, 122.5 kilos on the bar. Remember, these men only weighing 52 kilos. And that's a good lift, and he's happy. Well, here he is again, Andrzej Stanisek of Poland. Attempting another world record, this time with 177.5 kilos. This is over three times his own body weight. And there it is, a new senior world record. As I said earlier, this man, still a junior. OK, you've seen the squat, you've seen the bench press. Now moving into the third movement, the deadlift. And this is Phil Hill with a successful attempt at 217.5 kilos. Two to one decision there. Two to one's all you need. And the bar now 
at 230 kilos. That's just a shade over 500 pounds. Hu Shun from Taiwan using the wide sumo stance. And it looks good. And it is good, but uh, his coach carries him off. Looked as if he was blacking out. And Inaba of Japan is amazing, 50 year old. This lift of 230 kilos will give him a new world masters record. Proof that life really does begin at 50. And there it is. And he's happy, and so he should be. Now, moving on to the 56 kilo class. Looking at Christian Klein of Germany, attempting a squat with 175 kilos. Good depth. And a new personal best for him. Jantri Francis of India, already successful with 195 kilos. Here, attempting to go one better. 200 kilos on the bar. Well, unsuccessful this time, so he remains with 195. Now the first appearance of Izagawa of Japan. Again, another veteran lifter. Already successful with 205. Here, attempting to improve to 215 kilos. Which he doesn't do. So he remains on 205. And we're now looking at Izagawa. Here attempting to bench press 162.5 kilos. Success with this weight would mean a new Masters world record. The pause, and it looks good. And there it is, a new world record. And just a confirmation. So the bar now at 225 kilos, just a fraction under 500 pounds. And we see Izagawa for the third time. Again, using the sumo style, the wide foot spacing. Thank you.
Stanisek from Poland, first. Inabi of Japan, second. And who? Taipei. Lifting championships in Johannesburg. Now concentrating on the 60 kilo class and here we have Gary Sims of Great Britain attempting a new personal best on the squat with 240 kilos. Good depth, drives through and there it is. And the coach is not too happy with the height of the squat stands there. We're now looking at Win Elaine of Belgium. The bar now at 247.5 kilos. Success with this lift will put him into first place at the moment. The depth, and there it is. That's a good lift, very nice lifting, 200. And he's well pleased with that. But now, the weight on the bar has gone to 262.5 kilos for the first appearance of Magnus Carlsen of Sweden. And he's opening on a new world record. the depth and there it is a new world record on his first lift Magnus Carlsen held world records in the squat and the bench press but um, in previous years has never quite managed to take the overall because of his weakness in the deadlift now Tim Taylor of the USA 145 kilos. The pause and then drives. And it's a good lift. And he's happy with it. Now looking at Russia's Valery Bogdanov. Attempting 162.5 kilos. And he doesn't seem to have much trouble with that. So, the reappearance of Magnus Carlsen. Attempting yet another world record. With 177.5 kilos. not happy so a failure at 177.5 but now the deadlift 260 kilos for Victor Victor 
Kazakhstan. And the lift was good, but he dropped it. And that's going to be a failure. So, Win Elwin of Belgium, 252.5. And that was actually the, the winning lift, so Win Elwin wins the overall. But Tim Taylor hasn't finished. Talks to himself. Needs this lift of 257.5 for the second place overall. The bar moves continuously, and there it is. And uh, a man who certainly likes to talk to himself. So, confirmation. Winner lane won with 6.45. Taylor of the USA, 6.27.5. Sims of Great Britain. 620. So moving up, now looking at the lightweight class, the 67.5 kilo lifters. This is Dominique Sardo of the USA with 260 kilos. Has to keep moving continuously, but it looks good. First appearance of Rodney Hippolyte of Great Britain here attempting a European record 290 kilos. Good depth, needs to keep driving. And there it is, a new European record. So, on the stage now, Alexei Sivakom, Kazakhstan, a junior, 21 years of age. Still a junior for the next three years. The bar still at 290 kilos, and a success with this will be a new junior world record. And doesn't he look good? Oh, yes. There it is. And confirmation of that junior world record. Now, moving on to the bench press, we're looking at Russia's Mikhail Smirnov. 165 kilos on the bar. lift, uneven extension of the arms. Bar now moving to 170 kilos. This is for Dominique Sardo of the USA. Really arching the back. Must keep the shoulders and the buttocks on the bench. And that looks good, and it is good. 
but now the bar is being loaded to a massive 190 kilos for Alexei Sivakom, Kazakhstan, for yet another junior world record. This really is a man to watch out for in the future. And just look at that. It's a good lift. And there it is, confirmation, a new junior world record in the bench press with 190 kilos. So, now moving to the deadlift. Jan Wilczynski of Poland. Again, using the wide feet, the sumo style. Two to one, so majority decision. Now, Rodney Hibberlite, 300 kilos. Remember, Rodney set a new European record in the squat with 290. Good effort, but not today. So now, Alexei Sivakom. This lift will actually give him the overall total. And a senior world record if successful. And every lift this man does really looks easy. That's 765 kilos, a new senior world record for a man who still has three years left as a junior. So, confirmation, the winner, Sivakon. Second, Great Britain's Hippolyte. And third, Sardo of the USA. We'll take a break. Join us again. World Powerlifting Championships in Johannesburg, South Africa. Now looking at the 75 kilo class. This is Jarmo Lane of Finland, attempting a new personal best in the squat with 290 kilos. Good depth. And there it is, a new personal best for Lane. Well, the weight still at 290. This is Pierre Berkland from Sweden. Trying to match Lane. Which he does. Very nice. Excellent. Two ninety-two and a half kilograms. So now the bar has gone to a massive three hundred and five kilos, and the first appearance of America's Dave Ricks, defending champion. And this lift will not only be a personal best, but it will also give him a lead of 15 kilos to carry forward. And there it is, good depth. 
Continual movement. And this man really does know how to celebrate. I think to say that he was happy about that one would really be a bit of an understatement. Kazakhstan's Bagaftin Bekov on the bench with 185 kilos. That's just a touch over 400 pounds. And a perfectly executed bench press. So, here he is again, the defending champion. Dave Ricks, and he's asked for a personal best of 190 kilos. Another personal best. Pia Birkland of Sweden wants to go one better. The bar now at 192.5 kilos. This will also be a personal best for him. would actually put him in the lead on the bench press, but remember, he has a 15 kilo disadvantage to Ricks. But still the deadlift to come. Yes. All important arch. And it looks good. Confirmation. And this is the first appearance of I Ching attempting a deadlift with 310 kilos and unsuccessful. He only needed to stand erect with the shoulders back. So 290 kilos. Valerie Bokanov. And it looks good. Oh, very nice. Good lifting. And that lift left him in sixth place. But here he is again. Dave Ricks of the USA, defending champion. Attempting yet another personal best with 312.5 kilos. And a success with this lift would mean that he retains his world title. And it would give him a total of 807.5 kilos. So a big lift. There it is, and the celebrations. So Ricks of the USA retained his title with 807.5. Berglund of Sweden second with 752.5, and Lane of Finland third with 740. Two more attempts. Now moving up to the 82.5 kilo class. This is for the men around 13 stone. And you're now looking at Peter Thuza of the Czech Republic, attempting a squat with 315 kilos. So we're nearing 700 pounds.
And just look at that effort. And I think they're now getting the bar ready for the appearance of rather an amazing man from America. Name's Walter Thomas, 49 years of age. He won his first world championship 19 years ago. Been around a long time. And another example that in powerlifting, age doesn't really seem to count. And just look at that. 49 years of age and on the way to his sixth world title. Kajel Kaspersen of Norway, attempting to take the lead on the squat. This is 217.5 kilos. And looks very comfortable, and indeed does take the lead. Well, the reappearance of Walter Thomas. As I said, 49-year-old. Already been successful with 182.5. Failed once at 187.5. Now this is his last attempt. Well, fails again, so he stays with 182.5. But remember, still the deadlift to come. But this is Vladimir Marchuk of the Ukraine attempting a massive 202.5 kilos. Well, takes it off on his own. And it looks good, and it is good. Well, now moving to the deadlift. And this lift of 310 kilos would put the 49-year-old from America, Walter Thomas, into the lead. Well, he's shaking, the movement's continuous. And it's a good lift. So there's now only one man who can take the title away from Walter Thomas, and it's this man, Roman Sismok Vok. 340 kilos. Last attempt. And he's unsuccessful, unable to stand upright. So that means that Walter Thomas, the 49-year-old, wins with a total of 807.5 kilo. Check in second, and the pole takes the bronze. We'll be back in a few minutes. Stay with us. The powerlifting championships in Johannesburg. Now moving up to the 90 kilo class. And we're looking at Alexander Lekonsev of Russia attempting a squat with 325 kilos. So the men getting bigger and the weights getting heavier. Good depth, drives through. So the bar now at 362.5 kilos for the German. Frank 
Sharma. Fantastic physique, wouldn't look out of the way in the bodybuilding competition. Frank holds the European record with a squat of 365 kilos, so we're very close to the European record here. Also holds the European overall record with a total of 895. And well, he didn't seem to have much trouble with that. And a smile and a pat on the back. Nikon serve of Russia, attempting a bench of 225 kilos, just a shade under 500 pounds. Pause and the drive. And it's a good lift. Two to one, majority decision. So Shrama also attempting the same weight. Incidentally, Shrama comes from Berlin and his own gym. 31 years of age and he's married. And his wife actually does powerlifting. And doesn't he make it look easy? Well, he's been four times runner-up in the World Championships. But I think today could be his day. So here he is again, 295 kilos. And it looks good, and it is good. So now, Alexander Nikonsev of Russia taking 312.5. And it's a good lift. So, the bar has now gone to a massive 335 kilos for Jan Tovanen. This will put him in third position, but will win the deadlift. And he can be pleased with that. So, Sharma wins for the first time with a total of 882.5. The Russian second, and the Finn takes the bronze. So we're now looking at the 100 kilo category. Vladimir Markovsky attempting to squat a massive 360 kilos. It's deep. And it looks good. Now, the appearance of America's Ed Cohen. This man's a little bit special. 31, comes from Chicago. Works as a sports development officer. But here, he's attempting a massive 423 kilos. Now, a success at this lift 
would mean a new senior world record. This man really is in a class of his own. Deep, drives through, and doesn't he make it look easy? That's 323 kilos over body weight. Well, there it is, confirmation of that world record. And we get to see it again. Deep drives through and leaves you wondering if perhaps he could have done more. So now we're looking at the bench press. Second movement in powerlifting. Vladimir Markovsky of Russia with 210. And it's a good lift. But now the bar is at a massive 250 kilos for America's Ed Cohen. Has a personal best of 247.5, so this is new territory for him. And it's too much today, but he still has an almost unassailable lead. So Vladimir of Russia with his final deadlift of 320. So the bar's now being loaded to 377.5 kilos. Red Cohen. Now, success with this lift would mean a total world record of 1,035 kilos. And there it is. Ed Cohen becomes the world champion for the third time. And who was going to win the 100 kilo class? Well, you're now looking at New Zealand's only entrance, Derek Pomana. Derek in the 110 kilo class, attempting a squat of 380 kilos and succeeding. We're now looking at Kirk Kowalski, normally lifts in the 125 kilo class. 
decided to come down. Now lifting with the smaller men, 110 kilo men. And this just showing you how good Ed Cohen is. These men in the 110 kilo class still not approaching the sort of weights that he lifted. So, now looking at Derek Pomana, not the strongest man in the squat, but supreme in the bench press, 240 kilos on the bar. And now to the deadlift. Kowalski already won the overall. And does all the work just to be let down right at the last minute with his grip. Well, this is our to turn in. His third place. Tries to move up to second with a huge weight of 375 kilos. But it wasn't to be. So America winning again with 980. Pomana from New Zealand taking the silver and the Finn taking the bronze. Well, the men just get bigger and bigger. We're now looking at the men in the under 125 kilo class. This is Scott Smith of the USA, attempting 370 kilos. And I think that's going to be good. And it is. Now, Victor Nalaking, 41 years of age, 1994 European and World Masters champion. He's from the Ukraine. went on to win the overall world championships but again the men getting even bigger you're now looking at the world record holder in the squat Shane Hannon of the USA and looking at that shows just why Yuri Spinov of the Ukraine attempting 402 and a half kilos. Slow descent, drives through. And it's good. So we're now looking at Miroslav Patro. Now, if he's successful with this lift, 
He'll give him second place. Which is something he wasn't expecting. 